Hey, I'm Dave Hall with the Silent Warrior Foundation. I'm here with Lana Spizo, also from the Silent Warrior Foundation, and we've got Jim Fuller flanked in here, so we can't escape. He's uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's somewhat willingly uh, agreed to be a, a little bit of a guinea pig. I have uh, no idea what we're doing here and what he, this is all about. He does, and I went to great lengths to make sure that he really does not know what this is about. Uh, we, uh, we started researching the upcoming Whiskey and War Stories event that's focusing on Operation Eagle Claw. And uh, in the course of doing that, uh, one of the guys that I knew that was on that mission let me borrow some of his gear that he had on the mission. And we we did some research on that gear. And it was just it became kind of an iconic uh, thing. Some of the items have just never been seen before and, or since. A few of those videos. Those and um, so I was telling you before, I'll give you a little hint of maybe what we might be up to. when. Um, when you see something on TV, uh, whether it's a car or a gun, you're like, oh, that's pretty cool. But it's almost a, another person's reaction to it that you can tell if it's like good or not. So I needed somebody to test a reaction. So okay. if you would, would you open this up? Spring out of the whip. Oh, you told me about these. Oh my goodness, is this? Now wait a second, before I go any further, is this one that you made? This is one that we made. Oh, okay. I didn't want to know I didn't know if this was the original. No, okay. but this is made exactly Oh my goodness, look at that. Like the one that we handled. Oh, like one of the ones oh, that we handled. Crap. You guys really did it. Oh, and the pat oh yeah. So oh, man. <laughs> every pocket has something. I saw the video you did about the one um, the guy that had one of the originals. And uh, this is th these are one of the one of the ones that they made to, to so replicate. I want to get your your experience here because if somebody gets one of these through our auction, they're going to go through what you just went through because there's a oh, there's man. something special in every pocket on this that we're going to add to it. Okay. And I'll explain what it is when you, you want to put it on. Yeah, I do. And then you can start fishing man, through I the just, pockets. I'm, I'm like enthralled with all of it because I know there was a bunch of stuff added to this, and I'm kind of curious as to what. Oh, I'll just put it on. <laughs> so I'll go through the organic features, and then I'm going to let you do some po pocket So it started life as an M65 field jacket, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And it's freshly dyed. I was yeah, dyeing I that thing black, yesterday. Yeah, the, yep. the red dye black, right? So it started OD. It actually looks pretty good. <laughs> yep. So uh, some of the features that this particular operator I know uh, incorporated into his jacket was he made a pouch to hold his PVS-5 night vision. And then on the collar, you'll see these tabs that go all the way around. If you remember the old PVS-5s, they had a string that wasn't real comfortable uh, hanging that weight around your neck, so they would lace it through here to make it more comfortable. And then this is, I think this is the coolest feature. Back here is a zipper pouch. This is where they kept their E&E &E stuff, like money and maps and all that other stuff. And then there's a secondary pocket to organize all of your escape items in the back. And then some of the guys, this guy didn't, he must have uh, worn some LBE. But if you turn so your left shoulder's facing this way, this is the one that everybody waits for. Oh yeah, yeah. So that was, the, that would have been the big reveal when they got up to the, uh, to the embassy. And so they had this covered up with this prior to getting to their set point and then they would have had that for IFF. Wow. So uh, let's start with this bottom pocket down here. Well, there's obviously something in there. Oh yeah. So well, if, you, if you get one of these jackets in our auction, all of these items that Jim is discovering are going to be in it. This was to ID the hostages. Group. Yep, that was to ID the hostages, to put that on their head. Well, this, this is a watch is, this cap. Is the, this is the total cool guy thing right here. And this I one mean, doesn't have it yet, it? but it will have uh, glint tape in it. Wow. Yeah, this, is, this created such an iconic image. Yep. Uh, those guys, uh, and those guys, their, their idea was if an AC-130 got involved, they would just turn their watch cap inside out, and that way they could be kept track of. Yeah, All right. Pretty cool. All right. Check that uh, bottom right pocket. There's still something else in here. Oh, it's like... <laughs> that's something left. <laughs> in there, yeah. well, uh, that's one of those desiccant so things. Yep. <laughs> All right. This pocket? Yep. Mmm. Now, if you're going into a fight, you <laughs> probably take a grenade. Yeah, do I open this? Yeah. Oh, this is good. This is good. Of course, I've got like the dullest knife I own. This is my work knife. But... Oh, man, this is wonderful. 
just like looks like it's painted up some kind of weird color or something. Mm -hmm. Our friends down at Bible Breacher took good care of us on oh, these. Oh, oh, I see it now. <laughs> Uh-huh. Right. That's pretty cool. Got to have a grenade. It's got the one that'll open your beer. Yep. Yeah. All right. Cool. You can go That's this one of your top pockets. Pocket now. Your choice. Now, this is in case down the road you want to represent. It's the glow-in-the-dark uh, call sign patch for Silent Warrior Foundation. Yes, sir. Very good. Right. A lot of goodies in here. We'll have more here. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, there's a lot of stuff in here. Did I all just right. grab the handful and dump yeah, it Yeah, just bring it all out. Sort through it. Oh, boy, goodies, swag and stuff. Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh, yeah, this is all the cool guy stuff that you get to go with. Oh, it's even got a Type 3 AK in it. Kinda, it actually looks like ours, too. It, it, it did. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think we are probably yeah. the only people in the industry that have uh, and AK-47 croc charms which makes your Crocs cooler instantly, and a 1911 like the one that we're auctioning that the Cylinder and Slide made. These two patches represent our friends that we lost last year. This one is for Mike Benedetto, who, who came up with the idea of Whiskey and War Stories. That's and the serial number on the gun. That's, that's right. His, his birthday, right? Yep, and his initials are on here, and then this one is for Rick Hetzel, hmm. who used to make these horns for us. And then this, you might want to open up, this is our special this year's coin for this year's Whiskey and More stories. So it has the, the Eagle Claw picture on one side. Okay. Oh, wow. Looks like it's the Operation Eagle Claw. I don't know if that thing can yeah. zoom in on that or not. So the last item is in this pouch on your back for the PVS-5. The original jacket that my friend let us borrow had a swatch of this. Each operator on that mission was given a yard of this uh, six pattern desert material. He opted to make a uh, water holder for out of one half of it and the other half he used as a scarf. So just to keep the, if you, people saw the original video, they're gonna see some of the same things. The, the headband to mark the hostages, the watch cap, it'll have the glint tape in it, and this that were just like when you saw uh, Eric Graves and I going through that. Wow, that's pretty cool. So this is the best this is part. <laughs> this is all yours. You kidding? No. Oh man, I remember this when I was a kid. Yeah, I remember your wow. your generosity and willingness to throw in with us just really inspired us, and we wanted to do something to to give you that hug back. Appreciate you, Dick. Well, that's really cool, man. <laughs> I think I would need to go have a beer. <laughs> you stand right there, because we're not done. It's cool watching somebody go through this, this agony. <laughs> Sorry, dude. You know, you, you know this stuff, just, you know this stuff always breaks me up. Yeah, I, that's why I, I got you on camera, but it's gonna get better. Because, you know that saying that uh, pain shared is pain divided and joy shared is joy amplified? Well, let's do some of that. So sometimes there's somebody that everybody knows that's maybe the quietest person in the room that never gets noticed, um, but is just always there and reliable. And, um, you know, it's always, there should be a time when that person should also be, have the spotlight for a hot second, right? And that's Greg. <laughs> yeah, this dude, man. <laughs> so I think you know what to do, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> so this is specially for you from Eric Graves from Soldier Systems. Eric and Tracy and I canvassed every surplus store in the Tidewater area looking for an original, not a remake, field jacket in your size. And that is a M65 field jacket that's been modified exactly like this one. Nice. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Whoa! That's cool shit, man. It's Asian size. <laughs> <laughs> That's so your pockets are full of everything, just like uh, Jim's, except I'm missing one of these, but it'll be here Friday, and I'll get I'll get it to you during the, during the uh, Whiskey and More Stories this weekend. Yeah, that's cool. Now, just so you guys know, if you didn't see the video, 
Uh, Phil Hansen, who's coming and showed us one of his jackets, he said that his jacket weighed almost 80 pounds, full of magazines and all of the, uh, wow. the assault gear that they had. He will wear that every day out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep, you want to expose that? Yeah. Get your set point. There you go. That's cool, What's man. cooler than that? That's awesome. All Thanks, right, guys. thank you so much for, <laughs> for being there and helping us out. We really appreciate it. And welcome to uh, Silent Warrior Foundation's episode of Punked, courtesy of <laughs> Haley Strategic. <laughs> Thanks, boss. <laughs> <laughs>